introduce yourself, one sentence elevator pitch on what you do, and how is your work differentiated and uniquely making an impact in behavioral health? Hi, everybody. I am Phil Vecchioli. I am Chief Revenue Officer of Nerveflow. Thank you for having us. You know, every day at Nerveflow, um, we're driven by the notion that you cannot manage what you cannot measure. Um, we bring to bear unique, at scale, data driven uh, collection methods and insights across a wide variety of the industry that separates us completely. And specifically, what I mean is we have the ability to ingest massive amounts of claim data, EHR data, and other types of data and provide a continuous feedback loop that spans across population health and measurement based care in tandem. We look at all sets of hands continuously every day. If you look at the cost of not identifying patients in a lower cost setting before it moves to a higher cost setting, we all talk about gaps in care. We all talk about the need for next best action, but we don't often talk about financial sustainability. And the answer isn't just piling on access. The answer is advanced techniques, leveraging the best and brightest in technology to give providers real tools. If you just look at suicide ideation, we all understand that terrible societal impact. But if you stop and look at the cost of ideation and where it begins, you recognize the need for these advanced collection methods. Um, many of our clients look at next, next best clinical action, but also reporting and capabilities to report out to employers, to members, to other clinicians in the quest that, to leverage everything we know today in technology to paint a picture of a population today that goes underserved and has no real connection to chronic illness the way it should be. Some specific impact points to what we do, we see in client settings up to a 75% reduction in um, psychiatric admissions and hospitalizations, 63% reduction in ED visits, and um, one of our latest endeavors in the state of Colorado for Colorado Medicaid by deploying consistent measurement-based care in conjunction with the primary care component in the market, we saw a 28% reduction in PM, PM costs along the total cost of care continuum, which equated to about $25 million in savings to the, to the state of Colorado. Artificial intelligence offers the ability to, to advance in areas like ecological momentary assessment, uh, scraping, unstructured data, natural language processing processing. That's the future. We are going to be the market leader in showing the, the financial and clinical impact of advanced real-time data collection. Um, we, I think we all have seen that this category has been tricky for a lot of reasons. It's it's a very tough one from a regulatory perspective. Um, it's very easy to do something that kind of runs afoul of, of you know, I think in some cases the FTC and, and other agencies where um, we've recently kind of seen a lot of this play out. So what what are you all doing to ensure that you are providing that convenience and ease of use that's so important to your patients while also um, having really strong kind of clinical um, independence and making sure your clinical teams feel that they can administer the type of care that they that they see fit and then managing the expectations of, of VCs at the same time. This is Phil from Neuroflow. I mean, we, we look at constantly improving around meeting the member or the patient where they are. So looking at all different types of engagement, ranging from more anonymous, you know, uh, digital front ends, and then weaning patients on more things like wearables or continuous engagement on a daily basis, whether you're in care or not. Um, and that's really helping us find the best and brightest um, ways to approach a very diverse population. You know, one day we're with the Veterans Administration, the next day we're with one of our disability carriers. While data collection is alive and well in both, getting to know those members requires getting really good and smart at the combination of art and science in engagement. The clin clinical underbelly stays you know, proficient where it is, but its ability to reach more people increases. And that's where we have a, a, a broader impact. Do you think AI is overhyped, underhyped, just hyped enough? Um, when it comes to, you know, your particular category or, or company? Well, from Neuroflow, I think it's hyped enough, but it definitely requires being very specific about the type of use that you intend. Mm -hmm.